just off to bed. I have no idea what time it is even. Uh, it's 12.45 a.m. I went to bed last night around 9.30. I was ready to collapse, and I never go to bed that early, but, um, you know, you'd think it would have been a better night. And uh, so 9.30, just incredible pain. I had this bright idea, maybe if I moved the bed to this chair, things might work out better. I could, um, maybe my hips and thighs wouldn't hurt so much in this chair, my legs, the pain I'm in. Maybe this might be a better, sta more stable chair. And I moved everything over here, moved the fan, moved all my gear, my... You know, it's in the living room, so I have to wear a eye mask and mouthpiece and blankets and sheet and pillows and support pillows and on and on and on. And just the pain, the pain. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, the chairs... The chair was moving forward. You know, if you're in a, a recliner and the recliner is too strong, like you push back back a little bit and the recliner, recliner is too strong and it's pushing you forward. So that's what I was finding. I was trying to fall asleep while literally this chair is pushing me forward. I can't lay down or anything. I can't lay back, but I needed to be back just a little bit because the head is too forward. It's not ergonomically correct to be sleeping. So the head is too forward, so I'd have to lean a bit back to, for the head to be. Anyways, I fell and it just wasn't working, wasn't working, wasn't working. Moved back, moved everything, turned the lights on, moved everything back to the other chair, made that enter bed again. Just, you know, excruciating pain and hell on earth and the mouthpiece just just I don't even remember all the details I fell asleep after five o'clock so about probably around 5 30 so 9 30 I went to bed shut the lights out fell asleep at at around 5 30 I last I went on my phone and said five o'clock light lights out again well not lights out but shutting my phone off again and you know and you can say oh well it's the blue lights well you know what people aren't awake 22 hours a day from blue lights and it's just not feasible that you just stop sleeping and die because you're on a phone I was I think that was the last person on earth to ever take a phone to bed with me I just because it's not conducive to sleep I know that you know um but and then the fear and the worry and um and struggling to breathe and I get up and use an asthma inhaler my ribs are caving in so I'm trying to arch my back and I get up and get a pillow and think well maybe I'll shove a pillow under my back because why are my why am I struggling to breathe the minute I start to go to bed and then the throat and I'm trying to stay upright and it's just a bloody nightmare anyways so that's 9 10 11 12 eight hours I can't believe that eight hours it took me to fall asleep and then I got woke at 7 27 so I don't know if I actually woke up at 7 27 or maybe was awake for half an hour or 20 minutes so two hours like you know i'm talking hell on earth it it's hell on my videos you know i'm awake and doing videos i'm talking i'm i'm just trying to you know keep myself alive keep myself sane have contact with people a little bit on here. Making videos has saved my life. Absolutely making videos has saved my life. 
it makes me feel like I'm being heard, even if I'm not. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm getting my story out. Um, you know what? I, I, I just exhaled. When I exhale, I feel like the life is draining out of me. I, I, there's something wrong, whether it's dysautonomia, on and off dysautonomia. Like, um, honestly, when I, when I'm exhaling today, I feel like I'm dying. It feels like the life's draining out of me. I know there's something terribly wrong. It could be the Chiari, like p bits and pieces of this could be Chiari. I'm glad I'm making videos because I know that some people with Chiari just pass away during their sleep. They just don't wake up. It's a thing. Central apnea, stopping breathing. Centrally rather than obstructive. And at the sleep study, the doctor told me, you have mixed apnea. You're having central and obstructive. And I said, oh, well, if I'm having central, I have carry malformation. Did you know I have carry malformation? And how, you know, how is that affecting me, I wonder? Well, he refused to acknowledge that. I had my disc in my, uh, the disc of my MRI in my hand. I said, I can prove to you that I have carry because these doctors don't want to believe anything. They want you to prove everything. So I said, I have the disc here. We, you can shove it in your computer. We can read the report. I didn't know at that time he could read the report in my records if he wanted to. Look it up in my medical records. This sleep specialist guy. And he said, yeah, you have mixed apnea. And I knew what that was because I had already researched it. And then he sends a report to the family doctor saying, I have obstructive apnea. Then he sends a re another report to my family doctor saying that I think I have central apnea and I don't have central apnea. He told me I had mixed apnea, central apnea, and... I have on record one of the nurse nurses there confirming that because I called to confirm, double check with her. I said, he told me that on the sleep study, I was having central apneas as well. And she said, yes, you're right. And he has denied that. And he told the family doctor, no, she's not. She's not having central. She's insisting that she is, which is just bizarre. I ha had so many problems with this guy, and then he refused care. And all my referrals were ref were denied after that for over two years, which I knew he was going to pull that trick on me as well. So, so I know that I could, you know, just quit breathing while I'm asleep. I used... Sometimes it frightens me, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, that'd be the easiest way to go, right? Just not wake up. It's not terrifying. It's not torture. You just slip away. My heart rate has gone down to 27 asleep. My oxygen has gone down to 72. My oxygen has gone down into the 70s awake. It's not doing that anymore, but, you know, yesterday I woke up, my oxygen's low. Not extremely low, but I shouldn't be walking around with low oxygen. It's not right. The doctor's telling you you're all right. No, actually, I'm not all right. Actually, I'm really sick. So, I'm going to bed soon. I just wanted to say, you know, I went to bed at 9.30 last night. And didn't fall asleep till about 5.30, which is just a bloody nightmare. 